Hello, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Taurus. The things that people have been doing in the background, trying so hard to alter energies and, and, and realities and swap destinies and timelines, and this a lot it, a lot of it has to do, you guys, with relationships. There has to be some kind of twin flame ascension that's happening right now. Because I'll be most of this stuff is about relationships. I don't know what was happening in 2009, 2019, but it's something for sure about you see here the angel like these healers, these light workers, these twin flames, the attacks have been so severe. And they have intensified. This year they've become so, so intense. There has to be a major breakthrough, but it's just again the the hermit, like the way people have made it a point to study your life. And obsess over you or whatever you have coming. It's like, my goodness. The, the roadblocks, the hexes, the curses, the jinxes, the spell work that has been done. It, it really is. It's, it's insane. And I feel like at this point... Something very drastic has to happen to stop this. Because I'm telling you, like, the vision I was seeing is literally like somebody has been kidnapped. And they literally have said, okay, you can get this person back and you pay. It's like these people have been paid the ransom that they asked for plus extra. And they still are refusing to let you go. It's like, what, what else do you want? It's not about the money. It's not, it, it's about the power and the control. Like these people want, they, they want slaves. They want to own divine beings and chosen ones. Like that's all it is. Knight of Wands, Five of Pentacles, the star. These people are rushing in like this because they need healing. They need your light. They need healing. That's what this is all about. This energy, it just keeps rushing in. Five of Pentacles. These people who have been left out, they rush in when they want healing. Like they're feeding off of Chosen beings, like they're they're feeding off of us, and when you don't feed them, they get it's vampire. Like we literally are. There's vampires amongst us. When you don't feed these people, the rage that they go into is scary. These people go completely mad. Some of you, by putting boundaries up, not talking to certain people, communicating with them, going around them, they are losing their entire mind. Like, they're going completely insane. And you cannot downplay or underestimate how far these people will go to try to ruin you. Page of Swords is just constant stalking, watching, hacking, spying. Nine of Wands here. Somebody, some of these people are holding on, especially if you've had relationships with them. They're holding on to your energy for dear life. It's like they feel like they cannot live without you. Nine of look at Nine of Wands, Nine of Swords. The stress, the fear, anxiety. But this has to be more than 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 that. These people are scared about. So I feel like a lot of people are scared for their life. To be honest. They are terrified of what's going to happen. King of Swords. The start and yeah. 
Well, I mean, what I'm seeing in my head right now is it's like in the movie, like Cinderella, when the charity turns into a pumpkin. A lot of you, you have actually been a victim of somebody destiny swapping with you. If you reclaim your own energy and your destiny, they have to live with the life that they know they were always supposed to live. And they have to get their karma. So it makes sense why they're so terrified at this point. Because they have to lose everything and then they have to pay it all back. These people never thought they were going to get caught. And everybody's situation is different, but I feel like, to be honest, there's a huge like entity or organization or something that is behind a lot of... There's major organizations or groups or something that's behind these attacks. It's a lot, like, all I, I'm sensing so much fear. It's a type of fear I picked up on, like I said, in, like, 2019 to 2020 when, when everything was shut down. And everybody was so afraid of what was happening next. Maybe something else is going to happen in the near future, but people are very, very afraid about the truth. They're afraid of you knowing the truth. I feel like there is something hidden here. And it's going to be exposed. And I feel like it's going to be on a very grand, grand scale. Like, this is not just one person. Like, you may be feeling it individually, but th this, this, is, this is something much bigger. There is some type of scheme or scandal that has been happening. And it, 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 I'm here, it's like global. For the last several years, people are so afraid. There is some type of secret organization or operation. I don't know why I'm getting this right. It, it, it feels like a certain group or class of people have been studied. This is like some kind of human study or something here. People have been studying people with certain like uh, DNA or genes. I don't know if this has to do with certain some of these companies that of course you know like where you can find out your ancestry. There is some kind of secret operation or something that has been happening and when this is like discovered and the, the truth is uncovered, these people are terrified of what's going to happen. Nine of Wands, Nine of Swords, King of Swords. Whoever is the leader of a lot of this stuff, it's like the whistle has been blown. The truth is out. Somebody, they cannot contain this truth. They can't hide something anymore. Look, the devil. I don't know what kind of underground secret operation this is. This could just be a group of people who worship the devil or something like that. And I, I can tell, I think that's what it is for sure. It's like these different Satanists and stuff like that. Like they're becoming exposed. These secret societies, they're not a secret anymore. That's a big thing. Like it's not a secret what these people are doing like to steal the life and the essence and the money of innocent people. It's not a secret. And uh, several years ago, I feel like people have become so desperate, especially for, for love and for money and power and control that they've created these rituals and, and other things for them to manifest different things. And I'm telling you, like, there's no no limits to how far these people will go to get the type of money, power, and control that they want. 
Three of Cups. Again, it's like, to me, when I see the Three of Cups in, in this energy, this is this is a group. This is some type of group. It's a ritual. Nine of Cups. I feel like people I'm here are being under the influence. Like, drugs, alcohol, people are in some kind of altered state of consciousness where they're doing different things, the hierophant. Exactly. This is like a, 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 a gang of very skilled shapeshifters or something. These different um, secret groups or spiritual groups or religious groups or whatever. Eight of Swords, yeah. They're doing things to bind people so that you can't see. You can't move, you can't walk, you can't talk. I'm telling you, it's it's a secret operation. And I'm sure a lot of you, your your mind, this is this, it's not thinking about kidnapping, holding people hostage, hurting them, having them, and all the like there's hardship. This has to do with for sure, like this is a business for somebody. Look at that. The star of the judgment and the high priestess. Something has shifted with the energy though where people's intuition is expanding at such a rapid rate that these things can't be, nothing is hidden anymore. The devil. The devil can't hide. That's, that's the whole point. Three of swords here. Nothing is hidden. And I'm out I worry that at some point, some of this stuff that has been done that was hidden, it's almost like, like they're trying to really normalize this. Having people stuck and bound and without any type of power and control, dictatorship, the king of swords, this is somebody here like a person being completely helpless, no food, no shelter, no money. And then you have this person out here, like literally it's slavery. That's what this is. There are groups of people that whoever these secret groups are society, they're enslaving people. That's the truth. Ace of Swords. The devil. Ball and chain. These people are being enslaved. This is going to be discovered. And this, this is something that's happening right up under people's noses. This isn't far off. The emperor. Control. Money. Power. Authority. Eight of Cups. Hangman, what I say? Sacrifices. People are being hurt, harmed, imprisoned, enslaved for sacrifices. I know what I, I know what I'm saying. The world. And this is happening all, it's happening all, but this is a mass awakening. Ace of Swords, that's the truth. I don't know, over the last few years, you know, the global viruses and illnesses, I, I don't know. Because the, let's be honest, so much stuff has changed around the world in the last, just we'll just say three or four years. But, but th there is something behind all of that that a lot of the stuff in the news and media is is covering up but there's a reason why all these things have happened so it's not telling where half of these people are 
that are supposedly deceased. It's not these people are probably child. Listen, <laughs> I don't know what type of cloning operation or or situation this is, but it's here. And this has to do with with some with organs, organ donors. This is a this is an opera. This is something that's going to be uncovered. Yeah, eight of wands, eight of pentacles. This is going to be uncovered. More is going to come out about this. People are going to be able to celebrate because they're going to receive justice. Let me get out of this. King of Pentacles. King of, I say King of Pentacles, but that's the King of Cups. Justice. Yeah. These people of authority. These sacrifices are being done for wealth. That's it. It's all for money. For money. And somebody is turning their back and they're traveling. Maybe going to other countries or something like that. I just heard solo travel. You have it, the Empress. This is about fertility, abundance. Birth, creation, co-creation, king of wands, seven of swords, strength, five of wands, conflict, chaos, competition, jealousy, envy, eight of pentacles. I feel like there is still protection here though like especially for the empress like the collective of empress like I, i'm gonna say women specifically who perhaps especially those who are of childbearing age because there's something here about fertility and birth somebody is getting angry because they can see this scheme or scandal that's taking place that is is like robbing people of their strength because of all of this chaos. This is war, drama, conflict, or whatever. It's spiritual warfare, but this is actual like war as well. These are people working on. I'm. I don't. I don't know where this channeling is coming from. People are actually working hard right now to to get weapons. And to travel. Possibly to help children. Children are being separated from their parents. You have the lovers here and the four of wands. So I, I'm seeing this on my grand scale. Some of you, some of you have a very big purpose. It's like for some of you, it's so crazy what I'm seeing. Crazy isn't the right word. It's actually quite extraordinary what I'm seeing. Some of you are going to, I don't know, some of you do mission work if you're in the military. Or you may be connecting with somebody that's into some type of work like that or philanthropy work or something. But I'm seeing in the future, this is a future prediction for some of you, or you may be considering it now. Some of you are going to be fighting for a greater cause. And it definitely could have to do with like going to 
I'm gonna say even like foreign places from wherever you may, I know people are from, I mean, a lot of my viewers, of course, are in the United States. Some of you are going to be called at some point now or in the future. This could be over the course of the next seven to eight months or years to really help people who are somewhere in the, like in the, at a distance. Because there are mothers who are being separated from their children. And for some of you, this is... Wow. Y'all, this is a major prediction. So th this is something that you're going to fall into over the, over the course. This new cycle that you're going into, Okay. In the next 10 years, some of you are going to be helping people like in third world countries. You could be an actual twin flame, okay? You and your twin flame are going to go to battle, I feel, for children. This is another very specific message, but I know what this is. You have the Empress here, the King of Wands. You and somebody are being attacked so bad because many of you are going to be an advocate for change for whatever this cruelty or enslavement is. You're somehow linked to this through a person, but it's because of your purpose. This is going to require a great deal of strength and courage, and you're going to be asked by the divine, by the most high, to be very selfless here, to bring about justice for people who have been abused by people who have misused and abused their own power. And it makes sense to me now the reason why some of you are absolutely 100% twin flames. And you are meant to be with your twin flame this, this lifetime. Your connections are so protected, but they're heavily attacked because of what you're going to do. Some of you are going to be like literally taking down major corporations. Like you're going to be fighting in battle. Like you're literally like a a warrior for God, like literally you and, and this person, something that I'm telling you in the next 10 years, some of you, you're, you're going to be amazed at the way your life is going to be. This is the truth. You're going to have some kind of idea for some of you to travel or to minister or talk to any something about kids who have been carrying some kind of burden Kids who may have health issues or they're struggling with education or whatever. It's right here. The lovers, the four of wands, the five of swords, and then the sun. You don't see this right now. You don't. But God is going to call you into this mission. And you're going through a lot now to be prepared for it. You're being emotionally and mentally prepared for this is this spiritual warfare is preparing you for becoming this humanitarian, this philanthropist, this light worker, this advocate for change. Y'all are going to literally be like in the battlefield. And you're going to be fighting for the rights of different people. Some of you, you, you have not look, ten of swords. You're going to go down in history. Look at that. Ten of swords and the death. It's something here. That's going to make people hit rock bottom. There could be a lot of death. Whatever this is. But it's a transformation here. And this right now, for some of you, like I just said, you hit rock bottom. And there's a death coming to life as you know it because you now are about to embark on a brand new journey. All of the illusions right now and the confusion, 
the overthinking, overanalyzing, all of that is about to come to a screeching halt very soon. Queen of Swords. I'm here. Life is about to get very, very real for some people. Like I said, I, I feel like there are secret agencies and operations and societies. There's something happening in the background that is going to cause something to happen globally. Okay, this could be in the in the world news. But but this is going to affect things in the next like decade. Every like how life has changed now over the last three or four years, something else is coming in that's going to change life for us once again. Tell us so I'm I'm sorry, the tower. A sudden change. I'm hearing catastrophic for some. Of them. Ten of Cups. And the things that you've had to go through has been preparing you mentally, emotionally, and spiritually for sure for what is to come. Because whatever is coming, a lot of you who are chosen, you're going to have to be pushed to the front. Yeah. You could have been afraid for cups. Afraid to really go towards something. And I feel like too, even in some of the divine partnerships and connections, a lot of people, it feels like it's rejection. Okay. From it feels that you may feel like you want to reject a person or they feel because once you get into this connection or this, this new contract, the things that you will be asked to do together are so big. I feel that a lot of people on a soul level, you know how important or intense these certain connections and assignments are. That's why a lot of people are hesitating. Some of it is, yeah, it's worth it. But some people really are afraid to get in these twin flame connections because I'm telling you, once you're in it, the assignment that you're going to be given, I'm getting here philanthropy work. The Six of Pentacles speaks of generosity, but this uh, generosity, this is you having more than enough to give also to people who are less fortunate. The Six of Pentacles comes after the Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles is having hardship, being out in the cold, without food, water, shelter, no help, being abandoned. Some of you are going to be in a position where you're going to have to take care of a lot of people. Ace of Pentacles. And God is going to supply you with everything that you need to do it. But what you have to really have is the mindset and the willingness to do it. I'm going to say this because I did a reading and I posted it earlier about for some of you meeting and it, this makes perfect sense now. You can meet a person who could be hiding that they're very wealthy or they come from a wealthy family. They want to marry for love. Some of you are going to find yourself in a connection with a, per a person. Whether they're rich or they're poor, whether you are rich or poor, you and this person. And it doesn't even have to be a romantic relationship for some of you. You and somebody are going to end up doing some type of mission work. Some of you have no idea, but literally you're going to end up traveling or living in a totally different country. Like your life is going to change in such a drastic way because of the assignment that God has given you to go out and truly be a light worker and a healer and to help other people. I'm telling you, whoever is listening... You don't, you probably don't see this right now because this is how your, I'm seeing this is how your life will unfold 
over the next like four to 10 years. This new cycle that you're going into, it's nothing like anything you've been in before. You will be battling, but you won't be battling to get into your purpose. You will, your, your purpose will be to battle. Hear me again. You won't be just battling to finally get into your purpose. No, you're about to go into a cycle where you're going to be in battle. That is your purpose. God has chosen you and selected you to, like I said, be an advocate for change and to go to battle even for other people. Some of you are going to meet people, and, and it makes sense again, like I said, how you will meet people and they look like a, a, a common everyday Joe or Jane and they could be filthy rich. And it's not about the money. The, the, the reason why I'm bringing up the money is the Ace of Pentacles here. It ha And it's falling right underneath the lovers of the four of wands. This money, for a lot of you, it has nothing to do with your with material things and riches. God is going to give a lot of you money. And you may, uh, you may get this type of money through a partnership, through a marriage of some sort. And, but God is giving you this huge financial blessing for you to be a blessing to many other people. I have like chills all over me. It's going to be crazy how this, it's like, God, I, what I'm seeing right now, and it's like, you're going to be connected with somebody. You're not going to know this person from a can of paint. And even if you get to know them or you do know them, you may not know what this person, like, th this person could be the type, like, they they give a lot. They, they could be a humanitarian or a philanthropist or this is you. That's why I, when I said earlier, I was like the whole Honda Bentley thing. And people say, well, what's wrong with the Honda? I'm like, you're completely missing the point. My point is that none of this, this earthly stuff matters. But a lot of people will misjudge a person. I just use Honda just as an example because it's a thing. People are always, you know, do you, would you rather cry in a Honda or a Bentley? And so many people got in the comments, there was nothing wrong with the Honda. Like, nobody said that it was. I, you, you completely missed the point. My point is you have a lot of people who are millionaires and billionaires and they blend in with everybody we get so caught up on how the, the the low vibrational people blend in but nobody talks about how you have angels who are walking among us they blend in with everybody you have people who are truly earth angels and people who are filthy rich and you wouldn't you wouldn't think that they were any different from any other person you have no idea how many people are backpacking or choosing to live in shelters who have been filthy rich before. And they're light workers. Some of you, you're either that type of person or you're going to start meeting people like that. You're going to start meeting real prophets, real people like mission workers. People who they know how to they know how to connect with investors and all this. And you're like, well, why aren't you? And they'll tell you, I'm not interested in the money. I need to go out and help people. That's what I'm saying. You have people who, who can afford a private jet and they'll pull up every day in a Honda and you will never know it. Because the same way these the money people have been hidden. Earth angels have been hidden too. There are angels amongst us that are hidden. They have divine blessings from the most high God that can allow them to really make changes in this, in this world, this planet. Only a special type of being will get access to these people to even have a conversation with them to find out. That's why the reading, oh my, there's people now who are really hiding their wealth. Because they don't need you to be attracted to them because of their money or their car or their clothes. That's why a lot of these people, now you're going to meet them. They're going to be very wealthy and they can put you in certain positions. They're going to dress just like you. 
They're not going to be walking around in, in diamonds and, and labels and riding around in, in Bentleys and Ferraris. No. They, these people who are actually on a mission, on an assignment for God, they don't need that type of attention. Y'all better wake up. And please, I'm just going to say this now. If you don't listen to my entire message and you want to make comments based off of what you see in a thumbnail or a title, please save it. Because a lot of a lot of people, like stuff really go, I, I know I'm a very forward thinking person. A lot of stuff goes over a lot of y'all head and y'all, you, you don't get it. You, you're not picking up what certain people are putting down. So stop leaving comments if you don't know what you're talking about. I don't like to get sassy too much on my channel, but when I'm talking about something real, something that I know I'm channeling for, like, I don't, I don't need the negativity. I've never, ever closed my comments, but some people just talk too much and, and you're talking about a whole lot of nothing and you don't know what you're talking about. I can't tell you how many people got in my, I have a Honda and it's like, you, you completely missed the point. <laughs> completely. The whole point is to not judge a book by its cover and all they can see is she said something about a Honda. Like it just it really just shows the the mentality and the lack of growth, understanding and wisdom. It, no fault to you. Everybody is at a different place in their journey. But respect, respect me and other readers who are just here to try to help. I just just want to put that out there because. I really don't have time for it. The magician card. Like I said, God is providing people with tools and resources, abundance that is needed for you to seven of pentacles, make investments to change the world so that things can move forward. This is what is three of wands being manifested. This was already written for you as part of your journey of self-discovery. You signed up for this. Before you even came here, you signed up for this contract to be the one who's going to save, to, to bless, to protect others. It's because of your divine connection. And you're not going to do this alone. Many of you, you will do this with a partner. I've seen, I've been seeing a lot of this. Some of you, like I said, you're going to get in connections with people. You may not even like them that much in the beginning. But whatever is with, with like their genetics, their DNA, their purpose, and your purpose, it goes together. This has nothing to do with your ego, with your flesh, nothing superficial. It's not about money. It's about your purpose. Are you, are you signing up? To really do what God is calling you to do. Because I'm t like, this is real. This is real kingdom work. Once again, it's a very specific. Everybody won't resonate with this. Page of Pentacles. You're getting confirmation about who you are. who you d decided to be this lifetime. And you could be right now in your life, you could be juggling. You could be finding it difficult right now to try to hold everything together. But <laughs> God knows how to work miracles. The moon is here, the five of cups. I felt like this is a disappointment that people are experiencing because the more you tap into who you are and discover who you are it's only natural to be disappointed that you've been in the dark about yourself for so long page of wands you'll get over it though and you will passionately go towards your your victory and your success yeah queen of cups ace of cups wow wow this loving, caring, nurturing person is going to have a real outpour of love to give to others. And you're also going to receive this love. You're going to be, look, Queen of Cups, Ace of Cups, Three of Pentacles. You have a job and assignment to show love to 
communities to organizations to team up and collaborate with other people. To, to give love, to show love. Knight of Swords. This is something, it's swift action of you moving forward. Some of you may have to quickly make a decision to travel or relocate. Or somebody may quickly come into your life. And when you may end up traveling or relocating, like I said, or getting in this divine alignment and purpose with this person. Wow. Queen of Wands and the devil. Wow. <laughs> You got a shady energy here. Ace of Wands, yeah. It's a karmic energy here that's still trying to rush in to get somebody off this journey. This, this is the distraction that keeps coming in. Be very careful right now with giving in to any kind of temptation, especially, especially like something sexual here. Four of Swords, yeah. Some of you need to be careful because this is like ST, like spiritually transmitted demons here. Somebody is trying to connect with a person or reconnect with someone, especially sexually or energetically, in hopes of corrupting them in some kind of way for swords to sit them down because somebody here is getting so close. To getting in this divine alignment and purpose. Four pentacles, yeah. You have a, a, a toxic, low vibrational, devilish energy here that's trying very, very hard to hold on to somebody that's already working hard, planning long term goals. The Knight of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles. Somebody here is planning for their future. They're ready to embark upon a journey that's full of success. They want to receive this blessing from God so that they can be a blessing to others. But they have somebody that's constantly trying to attach. Attach to them so that they can attach something to them. Somebody is trying to attach like a, a, a demon or something very just demonic to a person. That's going on this earth angel journey. Knight of Cups, Seven of Wands. Yeah, somebody needs to protect themselves. Queen of Pentacles, Two of Swords. Yep. Somebody does not need to take an offer from someone. This could be an ex, friend, family member, lover, partner. It doesn't matter. Somebody is definitely trying to tempt a person. This is a temptress. Somebody is coming, I mean, coming in for the kill. Like, okay, you, you're starting to get out of, you know, that old karmic cycle. But like I said, like somebody here is just like, no, I'm not letting you go. Even though somebody has paid their karmic debts and they're moving towards purpose and destiny, true love, a twin flame union or whatever. Somebody is like, no, if, if I could just get my hands on them one more time. I can make sure that they don't go towards whatever this is that God has for them. This is, it's, it's big though, because people, if you're destined to go out and be a blessing to many, many other people and like help other people come out of the darkness and move closer to God and into the light, of course, this is why you're being attacked. Somebody needs to really understand just how big of a purpose you have. And why it's so important for you to protect yourself. And if you happen to know that you have a counterpart, especially if you've connected with that person, I'm going to say both um, spiritually as well as physically, you need to make sure you're protecting them too. Because this spiritual partnership or contract, you and this person are going to be working together. And for some of you, again, it doesn't have to be romantic. It could be platonic. But there's still something that you and another person are meant to do together to serve God. And you have a very low vibrational energy that's coming in. This is like demonic possession or something. Somebody is trying to attach something to you. Could definitely be through sex. Some of you, somebody could even be trying to give you like an actual... STD or 
to make you sick with the devil here, the ace of wands and the four of swords. Yeah. And the queen of wands. Somebody needs to be very, very careful about being impulsive and going towards somebody that may tempt them. Because this is like you go towards a person that tempts you. This really feels for sure like a masculine energy. If you go towards this queen of wands, this person is going to get you in some kind of karmic contract. This person is going to attach some kind of dark entity or something to you that's going to track and monitor you. And it's going to ensure that you are blocked out of your own destiny. Because this is this is what someone has been utilizing to pretty much to watch you, to model to you, and to even try and destiny swap with you. This could even, I'm hearing, this could even be a, a temptress that's being sent in by a group of people. So some of you need to be careful because you have these different religious groups or organizations or secret societies. They're sending people in to you. In hopes that these people will sleep with you to get access to your energy, to watch you, to monitor you, to attach different demonic entities or dark entities to you, to even pass off diseases to you or whatever. Because the four of swords, all they need to do is to get you sick, to get you down, get you sick. And then the four of pentacles, some of you too, with these different shots and injections that people are offering you better be careful with taking some of this stuff because th this is all part of some kind of agenda. It's a plan. It's a setup. 